In my previous videos, I talked about recommending products and content to consumers. It's something businesses usually do to engage customers and increase conversion rates. Beyond recommending items, companies may send a coupon, make a call, or offer a loyalty program. Usually, it's up to marketing analysts to identify what to do next. Luckily, with modern technologies, this complex decision-making process may only take a few seconds instead of hours. Hi, I'm Alex K, Data Science Competence Leader at Altexsoft, and I'm back to explain recommender systems, their types and benefits for business. This time I'll focus on a specific use case on recommendation engines, the next best action market. The next best action, or NBA, is a marketing practice that helps companies engage customers, without annoying them. So, what does it mean in practice? People visit the website and take some action. They may add a product to their cart, check their reward balance, download a white paper, or even engage in a small talk with your chatbot. The question is, how does a company react to this activity to create more value and increase conversions? What's the next step? But the NBA concept is not only about defining the next step. To engage customers in the most natural way, you also need to choose the right time and channel to deliver your offers. The frequency and sequence of actions matter as well. The key idea is to focus on customers, their needs and preferences rather than on products and services. To achieve this goal, the NBA answers three key questions. What to offer, when to offer and how to offer. This is something very different from traditional mass communications and product-centric campaigns. Curiously, the NBA approach to marketing was born out of military methodology for decision-making, known as the OODA loop. OODA stands for Observe, Orient, Decide and Act. The OODA loop was developed by US Air Force Colonel John Boyd to help fighter pilots think rationally in chaotic situations. To win, or just to survive, pilots have to keep an eye on numerous changing variables, from fuel quantity to the terrain below, orient themselves into the best position, decide on the best course of action, and act as quickly as possible. Soon, this effective mental model gained popularity outside the military. In fact, the ability to make quick decisions in real time benefits any business. Among other things, military know-how may serve as a basis for a winning marketing strategy. Similar to the OODA loop, the next best action considers multiple variables about each individual customer, and then selects the best decision from a number of possibilities. The list of variables may include demographics, namely age, gender, location, income, marital status, or behavior like data on past purchases, payment methods, use of social media, etc. You can combine demographics and behavioral data to derive actionable insights. For example, you may find out that a male customer under age of 25 is most likely to buy from your store again if you reach out to him via Instagram two days after he made the purchase. Such a tailor-made approach results in a better customer experience, natural engagement, because your messages are not associated with spam, and the rise of conversion rates. Sounds good, but to reap all these benefits, you need a robust NBA recommender system. So, what choices do you actually have? Let's start with the most classical approach to decision-making, which uses even logic, rule-based NBA systems. This type relies on a knowledge base. In essence, it's a large library of if-then statements, manually created by marketing experts. Roughly, such a statement looks like this. If a customer belongs to a certain demographic group and takes a certain action, then take the following steps through the following channel. These rules are designed for various audience segments. The segments can be very broad, considering only a couple of parameters. Say, an online retailer may offer a collection of summer dresses to every adult woman. This offer is based on just two attributes – season and gender. But the audience segmentation can be narrow, pinpointing more specific groups of visitors. 
The same retailer can recognize a returning visitor who lives in a certain area, learned about the website from its Instagram campaign, and already bought summer footwear. This level of granularity results in more personalized offers and more effective actions. However, as your business and customer base grow, it becomes hard to predict all possible options in advance. The system fails once an unknown scenario comes up. How can you overcome these limitations? The answer is by applying machine learning. Rule-based programs are often called systems with fixed intelligence. On the other hand, machine learning is capable of constantly adapting to changes. Using customer demographics and information on their behavior, machine learning recognizes patterns of consumer response to different types of marketing activities. Based on these findings, the system recommends the next best action that is most likely to result in conversion. This recommendation encompasses the best message as well as the best time and channel to deliver it. Simply put, machine learning allows companies to better understand customer expectations, predict sales probability more accurately, and react to customer actions in the most effective manner. Ok, suppose you already have the next best action engine. How do you use it? You have two options to choose from. However smart your system is, you will still need a human expert to approve or decline suggested recommendations. In this case, your NBA system provides decision-making support, but does it make any decisions on its own. The machine acts as a smart assistant. It generates a list of recommended actions, and then a marketing specialist chooses the best one or develops a sequence of actions. Another scenario is when your system automatically initiates actions like sending notifications or recommending something. For example, the system can send automated reminders if a visitor added something to the cart and then just left the website. Depending on the customer's profile and history of interactions with your brand, the machine decides whether or not to offer a promo code. It also chooses the communication channel – phone, email or social media. Often, NBA systems combine both approaches, giving you more flexibility. Now you see how NBA systems work. It's time to consider which one will benefit your business. Obviously, machine learning has a lot of advantages compared to rule-based solutions. But it doesn't mean that it fits every business. The level of automation and personalization of rule-based systems can be quite sufficient. If a small store uses simple business rules and is satisfied with a fixed number of recommended actions, why should they invest more? But if you have hundreds of possible scenarios, you grow fast and need thousands of new rules, consider machine learning. It will definitely be the right choice. Sorry for pathology, but these recommendations apply to all recommender systems we discussed in previous episodes. In the next video, we'll proceed from theory to practice and discuss the benefits and challenges of building a recommender engine. Thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe, and see you soon.